surprise to no one, our first favorite snack, or my favorite snack, is the Rontolas Ronto Wrap from the Ronto Roasters. This is actually a plant-based option. It's got a, a plant-based gochujang sauce, and they've got some kimchi slaw, and I think it's impossible meat. Sausage, oh my gosh, it's so good. And by the way, I'm wearing my cruiser shirt today, along with my Halcyon necklace. We are sitting in Batu West and just thinking about the Halcyon. All right, we're gonna give it a shot. Oh, this looks amazing. Let's take a look at this beauty here. It's got pickled cucumbers and some peppers. It's so good. And of course, Bronto Roaster also has mobile order, so I just mobile ordered it and just picked it right up. Didn't have to even have to wait in line, so it was perfect. I got some, it has a little bit of heat to it because I think it has that, the Korean gochujang sauce, but um, it's nice and tangy. It's got the, with the pickle, and I mean, the plant-based impossible meat is perfectly cooked. Oh, so good. And here's a pro tip for you. When I'm in Disney, I bring my own Ziploc bags. Because you just never know. They don't really give you takeout boxes or, or bags or whatever. So if you can't finish a snack or something and you just want to, you know, enjoy it at home, bring your own Ziploc bags, you know, keep it nice and safe and fresh, and you can always enjoy it later. And actually, another one of my favorite snacks is here in um, Galaxy's Edge. The Docking Bay 7 doesn't open until a little bit later, so we'll have, we'll have to come back to it. Ooh, it's so good. You have a magic key. If you, it's linked to your My Disney Experience app, the discount is already um, automatically applied, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's one of the nice things about mobile ordering. It's a one-stop shop. Go ahead and order it online. Pick your pickup window, pick up, pick up your food, and you're good to go. While we're talking about mobile ordering, I think if you're planning on eating during sort of like regular meal times, order ahead. You have the option to schedule. So say, for instance, you know you're gonna be hungry around I know the regular meal times where everybody else is trying to get food. Order it in the first thing in the morning. You, you've got that out of the way. You don't have to worry about that. And by the time those windows come up, you're not really stressing about it. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, we're almost done with our Rontolas Ronto wrap. The pita bread is so nicely cooked too. Oh my goodness, it's just got that that good chewy kind of texture. If you know what I mean, let me know in the comments below. And guess what? We're at Olga's Cantina. In the morning, there is literally no wait. I was able to grab a walk-up and they, my table's ready, so let's go. It's never too early for a fuzzy tauntaun, so that's where we're heading. That is my next favorite snack, I guess, slash drink, so here we go. Oh, hi, Rex. Oh my goodness, we missed you so much. And yes, we are at Olga's Cantina. Super early for a drink, but we're gonna do it. And yeah, as I was tapping into getting my walk-up wait list, they're saying that if you're a smaller party, like one or two, you might be seated at the bar with them, well, standing at the bar at the moment. So that's totally okay. Yeah, the Casanova is telling me that in <laughs> it's two drinks, drinks maximum. I'm like, it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning. So we're, we're good. I really wish they would play the Gaia soundtrack here and um, Oga's, but I think it's, we got Rex's set, which I'm okay with that too. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of foam there. Yeah, you do. Don't the foam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is probably the biggest foamage I've ever had for a fuzzy tauntaun. Oh, this will be a challenge. So we'll, we'll see how, how we can do this. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of foam. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You can taste the. Um, Peppercorn. Oh my gosh. Ah. Ooh. Yeah, that's a lot of foam. I can already feel my tongue and my lips tingling a little bit. Oh wow, they're definitely going numb. <laughs> Almost done with the foam. All right, here we go. Now, now we're drinking. I feel like my lips are like this big right now. <laughs> so a uh, cast member was like, 
super impressive. I was going to take down all the foam. But this is a, such a good drink. Um, yeah, they obviously have other choices, but this is really, this is just my go-to drink. We love you, Rex. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, you didn't make a really good pilot, but you're definitely a better DJ for sure. Yeah, for those of you who didn't know, Rex used to be on Star Tours, but I think we've um, we've retired. <laughs> uh, that did, didn't, wasn't a very very good pilot, but so he's. I'm glad that he's able to find a new post here at Olga's. I think he's having way too way more fun DJing than piloting. So good for Rex. The other thing to take note is that at Olga's they do offer some snacks. I would not eat here. The snack, the drinks are good, not so much the snack. So if you're planning on drinking at Olga's, I highly recommend eating outside and then coming here to, just for their drinks because you're paying way too much for less than mediocre food. We are done with Olga's. <laughs> yeah, having a fuzzy tauntaun at like 9.30 in the morning is not advisable, but I'm doing it for you because that is one of my favorite snacks. Well, I mean, Falcon's Run is only a 15 minute wait. Um, yeah, let's. I wasn't planning on doing any rides today, but you know, while we're here, might as well, right? All right, let's go. And the other thing is over there in Batu East, which is the one in Hollywood Studios, there's a little stowaway Baby Falcon, but here in Batu West, there is none of that. So if you are looking for the Baby Falcon, don't look for it here because it ain't there. So Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run does have a single rider, but right now we're walking, so I'm not I'm not worried about that. And also, you do uh, skip most of the basically all the queues. So if you've only been you've never been here before, I'd recommend getting the uh, just doing the standby. I think even the Lightning Lane will skip some of the the queue as well. So something else to keep in mind. And now we're at Docking Bay 7, ready to pick up another one of my favorites here in, uh, this one is still in Batu, believe it or not. And here she is, the cold brew black cap at Docking Bay 7. This is cold brew coffee with, I think, cream, sweet cream, and chocolate puff. Just, I think they're, they're cocoa puffs. But, uh, oh my gosh, I haven't had coffee today, so this is gonna be perfect. And and even the ice, I swear, has flavoring in it. It is delicious. Mm. The coffee has a little bitter note, but the um, the sweet cream and the cocoa puffs, I'm just gonna call them cocoa puffs, it really adds a little bit of sweetness to it. This is absolutely delicious. Sorry, but not sorry, but two of my favorite things here in Disneyland are drinks rather than snacks. But, you know, if you've had them, You'd love them too. My next favorite food in Disneyland is actually at the Bengal Barbecue in Ventureland. So we got some bar beef and pork belly skewers. Uh, just getting ready to pick up our mobile order. Right over here. And they're here. Ooh, okay, I'm seeing this is the beef skewer. And this looks like it's the uh, pork belly skewer. Oof, they look amazing. All right, let us, without further ado, let us dig in. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, this looks 
so good. It's messy though. Oh my goodness, I'm wearing light colors today. Probably not the best idea, but. Ooh. That beef is perfectly cooked. I think there's a little bit of a, a kick to it, whatever the sauce is. Oh, it's so good. Perfectly tender. Oh, and that 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 slightly tangy, spicy sauce is just spot on. Alright. And then I've been eyeing this pork ballet skewer as well. Oh my gosh. So that's a what a bit of a, like a darker sauce. Mmm. The pork belly just melted in your mouth. Ooh, that is really good. It's a little bit sweet and salty. Um, but wow, that is so good. All right, switching back to the beef again. Just notice we have the um, Indiana Jones pinball machine back there and the pork belly came with this little like slaw, a little bit of cilantro. Mm. Crushes the palate really well. That, I'm loving it. All right, oh my goodness. All finished. Honestly, if you're looking for pretty good barbecue or meat on the stick in Disneyland, but you know barbecue is a hidden little gem. Highly recommend it. We are enjoying a Dole Whip in the Enchanted Tiki Room. <gasps> awesome. Okay. really really good it's got the it's obviously the OG the pineapple um, dole whip and the fact that we get to eat it in the enchanted tiki room just a complete experience All right we're getting to wrap up our day snacking around Disneyland how appropriate would it to end the day um, with a lovely little cup of dole whip it was so refreshing it's got that really lovely pineapple flavoring I believe it's actually um, plant-based is vegan so there's there, there shouldn't be any dairy in it so plant-based friends I think you you'll be able to enjoy that just as well and of course uh, here in Disneyland you are able to take your Dole Whip inside of the Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room so that just made it all that much more fun and special so you know listening to the birdies sing and then enjoying your Dole Whip inside of AC I I don't know especially on a hot day like today it's it's there's nothing better than that really enjoyed my snacking my way through Disneyland. Those are just kind of my favorites, so please leave in the comments below and then let me know what your favorites are in Disneyland. Well, that just about wraps it up. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. Please also subscribe to my channel so that we can grow our community together. Thanks so much again. Uh, we will see you soon. Take care now.